Hi, I'm Kristen Arbaez and I work for Invertec Drives. Today I'm going to show you how to change the settings of the control inputs on an E3 drive. The E3 is a general purpose drive ideal for simple and not so simple applications and is available to control motors up to 22 kilowatts. The E3 drive has up to four digital inputs and two analog inputs, which can be programmed in a number of ways. The functions of these inputs are selected using parameters 12 and 15. Let's look at P12 first. This parameter selects the primary command source for the drive. By default, control is from the terminals, but we can also select control from the keypad as well as MATBUS, CANBUS and PI control. With the default setting of zero, control is from the terminals with an enable signal on digital input 1 running the drive, and a signal on input 2 reversing the direction of rotation. Analog input 1 controls the motor speed. Now, setting parameter 12 to 1 enables the keypad to control the drive. Remember, we still need to make a link or close the enable switch for the drive to run. But now we have control using the buttons. Start the drive with the green button and adjust the speed with the up and down arrows. Stop it with the red button, nice and simple. If we set P12 to 2, This will allow the drive to be reversed from the front panel. This isn't suitable for some machines, hence the choice of settings 1 or 2. Now we run the drive as before. And another press of the green button reverses it. And again, the red button stops it. P12 has several other things which allow the drive to be controlled via a serial link using CANBUS or MATBUS. Closed loop control, where the drive monitors a feedback signal, such as temperature, pressure or flow rate, is also set up with P12. OK, let's set P12 back to zero and look at P15. The different functions of the terminals can be selected using P15. To access some of the extended parameters, you'll need to set parameter 14 to 101. Now, we can see parameters above 14, but let's look at P15. These control the way the digital and analog inputs work. There are plenty of ways we could set up the inputs, and individual setting is possible on other Invertec drives, but the E3 keeps it simple. Parameter 15 offers 16 alternative combinations, including functions such as external trips and preset speed selection. Let's look at a couple of these. If we set P15 to 2, we can use digital inputs 2 and 3 to select several fixed speeds, which can in turn be set to what you want. Digital input 1 is still used to run the drive, and the analog inputs now act as switches. So, run the drive with the first digital input, and select different speeds with input 2, 3 and 2 and 3. So we have four different speeds programmable in parameters 20 to 23. Another setting, parameter 15 to 11, allows for momentary operation that is push button control. If I set parameter 15 equal to 11, we can use push buttons to control the drive. The second digital input is now a momentary action stop and should be normally closed. Now we can run the drive with a momentary signal from digital input 1, reverse it with a momentary signal from digital input 3, and stop it with a short signal from digital input 2. A 
As I mentioned before, there are plenty of other combinations available with parameter 15. By the way, the functions of parameter 15 are dependent on the settings of parameter 12, which selects the control mode. This gives even more flexibility and is explained in the handbook. Remember, if you get stuck, you can easily reset all the parameters to the factory settings by pressing up, down and stop buttons together for a second or so. Then reset the drive with the stop button and start again. So that's cleared all the changes I just made. For more information, go to imperfectdrives.com. Bye for now.